Today, we're going to be talking about our predictions for the 57 kg and 65 kg weight classes. We'll have separate videos for each weight class, so be sure to check the other one out when you're done with this one. Let's go into the video. So first off, in the quarterfinals, Thomas Gilman versus Sean Russell. Russell, who qualified by beating Darian Cruz and a few other low-ranked senior-level uh, competitors at 57 kgs at the last chance Olympic qualifiers, while Gilman, a 2017 world silver medalist, that's how he qualified. So uh, should be a pretty easy win for Gilman here. I mean, he has a win over Sean Russell in the past. He teched him at the NLWC event, but it should be noted that he's been in kind of a slump recently since he lost to Seth Gross 4-4 on criteria. Um, he beat uh, Russell, but then later on he lost to Zach Sanders, um, ended up getting pinned in one of his own moves. So he is in kind of a slump, but should be able to beat Russell here in a pretty easy match. And then the second quarterfinal matchup is Seth Gross versus Nick Soriano. Now Gross, a Bill Farrell Memorial Champion in 2019, that's how he qualified. Actually beat Nick Soriano at that tournament. Uh, it was a pretty good win, but it was in 2019, and it was when Nick Soriano wasn't really training freestyle that much. But recently, I mean, he beat Thomas Gilman, 4-4 uh, four to four in criteria. He beat Russell on par, and Gross, he's just been doing pretty well recently. Other than that, one loss to Nation Garrett in, I think it was December at the RTC Cup. It's been doing pretty well. Suriano also has been doing well. I mean, he got second at the Pelicone. He got first at the Henry Dick Lane. Uh, so it's going to be a good match between these two guys. Gross really loves to scramble while Suriano is kind of timid. Um, he's a very defensive wrestler. It really takes calculated shots when uh, he sees an opening. I think it's going to be a good matchup, but due to Suriano's style, don't think Seth Gross is going to match up well with him that much. And Suriano's just gotten very, very good at freestyle recently. I think he'll probably be able to beat Seth Gross here, maybe like 6-3, 6-4. And then in the third quarterfinal matchup, you got Vito Ruja, who qualified by taking third at the 2019 Senior Nationals. Uh, only lost to Spencer Lee at that tournament and beat Nick Suriano. Uh, recently, he lost to Thomas Gilman at the Henry Glade, but battled back, took third uh, there at that tournament, going up against Joe Cologne. Now, Cologne, I mean, he's a good wrestler. But in my opinion, he's already peaked in his wrestling career. Um, he lost to Nick Suriano in 2019 at Peter Streets when Suriano's freestyle game really wasn't that strong. And Vito Rujao actually did beat Nick Suriano that year as well. So I think Vito should be able to beat Joe Colon here. Colon dropping a bit of weight from 61 kgs as well. Should be a pretty easy win for the Cornell wrestler. You got Nathan Tomasello versus Dayton Fix. Tomasello, a guy like Joe Colon, who hasn't, I mean, he hasn't really competing in 2021, but I feel like he's past his peak as well. Uh, his last best year was probably in 2019 when he got second at Senior Nationals. Um, but then in 2020, he hasn't had the best year. I mean, he got second at a very low senior level tournament and then lost to Seth Gross there as well. I uh, really haven't seen him perform that well at senior level tournaments since 2019. So I uh, really don't think he's going to be able to get far in this tournament. While Dayton Fix, who is a returning 2019 world team member, recently lost to RBY in the NCAA finals. Um, kind of in a slump as well, like Thomas Gilman is. But I think he should be able to bounce back. Uh, probably beat uh, Nathan Thomas on this one pretty comfortable. In the semifinals, it's Nick Suriano versus Thomas Gilman. This is going to be a fun, fun matchup. These guys kind of wrestle pretty similarly. Uh, they kind of have a slow style of wrestling, feeling each other out, getting physical, uh, a lot of hard hand fighting before they actually take their shots, but I think it's going to be a good matchup, but Suriano, I mean, he's just been doing extremely well on the freestyle scene. Both competed at the Henry de Glane. Gilman got third there, and Suriano got first after beating the guy that Gilman lost to, so... I mean, I think Suriano is going to have a hard matchup with Gilman, but he can probably get it done to make the finals in this matchup. And then it's Dayton Fix versus Vito Arujao. Arujao, a very young wrestler uh, from Cornell University. Uh, I think the Cornell canceling folk style wrestling really was a blessing to him because he's gotten so much better at freestyle uh, since he's been only able to focus on freestyle now that Cornell canceled their season. Um, it's going to be a pretty good matchup between him and Dayton Fix. Fix really focused on freestyle, not that much this year as he was mostly in folk style due to the college wrestling season. Uh, took a loss to RBY, like I said. And I think Vito, I mean, he's a young guy. He's not going to be very highly considered to beat Fix here, but I think he'll probably get the upset. I mean, Fix is kind of in a slump right now, like I said before. And Arusha really been focusing on freestyle. Um, if you look at some of his training videos, he looks sharp on his feet. Uh, he's a very explosive wrestler. I think he'll be able to get to his legs a few more times and Fix will be able to get to his. Probably beat Fix in a very, very close matchup. 
will probably be low scoring because Fix is able to slow down matches like that, but I think Vito can get it done. And then it's going to be Nick Soriano versus Vito Rizal in the finals. It's going to be kind of a mirror or like a parallel matchup to Fix versus Rizal. But I think Soriano is a less, a bit less defensive as Fix is and a better wrestler in my opinion. I mean, he beat Fix, it was folk style, but in my opinion, Soriano has just become a beast in freestyle. It's gonna be a good match between him and Arusha. And if he can really slow Arusha down with that hard hand fighting, uh, try not to get put on the shot clock that much because he definitely will with his kind of passive style of wrestling. Um, if he can get to Arusha's legs one or two times, I think he's gonna be able to win this matchup because once Soriano gets to the legs, finishes a high percentage of times and he's got that great shot defense especially with those reshots um it's gonna have a pretty hard matchup in arusha who has beaten him before has a high high paced offense but i think suriano can get it done make his first olympic team in this matchup yeah let's wrap up our video talking about our predictions for 57 kgs and 65 kgs if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like comment down below and stuff more as comes like this peace